my channel this video is going to be a I guess protective style before uh, the protective style so I guess this is my routine that I do before I get like box braids crochets scalp braids anything like that this is what I do before so I already did two of them I don't know if you can see them it's two plaits and then I um, put these on the end for weight so that it can stay stretched out um, my wash routine just a little bit I use the Garnier blends or whatever that as well as these two that's the shampoo and the, and the conditioner that's the Shea Moisture so that's the second time I wash my hair And then I add a little enhancing smoothing right here. And I did um, I did a protective style right after I washed my hair. And that was just me going through with uh, plaits, uh, putting it in plaits, using some of this uh, as well. Add some of the Strengthen Shea Moisture, Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. Those are the things that I did when I wash my hair. And because I do have scalp, um, psoriasis um i have seboric uh, dermatitis actually so um when i after i take my hair out of protective styling and i wash it the first time actually i always use this this is therapeutic therapeutic t plus gel so i use this first then i use this is the second time i washed it and then the third time i um use the shea moisture curling shampoo and conditioner okay so Back to what I was saying. So now to um, I'm, uh, brush straightening my hair. So I'm straightening my hair with the brush, but not really straightening it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not going to get real straight. But I use this brush right now. It is on 155 because I'm letting it cool down um, while I was doing this braid. And the only thing I'm using is some oils that I put together, which are the um, grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil, almond oil, uh, just black castor oil. So like a couple of drops of this in there. And I use some uh, peppermint oil. So that's all that's in here. And then I also use just some, you know, Blue Magic, the coconut uh, kind, and it has castor oil in this too. And I just put it on my scalp and a little bit on the braid after well actually before i um used the blow dryer as well as just a tiny drop of this and this is the straightener polisher so that's it anyways i've been talking too much so what i do is the first step is i take and i finger the comb like this just finger the comb it get all the little knots and stuff out Finger to okay, so once I think it's finger to tango, take a little bit of oil and I rake that through it. Rake right that on through it. Get up at the top too. And I did section my hair off. So, that. Then I take this much of the grease this much and I put that and no it's not a lot I don't use a lot I mean my hair is really thick so it soaks up everything that I use in it so next step is I use a brush first yes I use a brush before I use the brush I know that sounds redundant but this is so 
that I can get rid of. You see those in here? Gently brush through those because I don't want them to get caught in the brush and then it breaks your hair out. So brush through those. And it's not taking them out, it's just brushing through them. Just like that. Brushing through it. Work your way up. Definitely get those in. Okay, so once you went all the way up, get over there. Once you went all the way up that piece of hair, that's when I use this. So I take the just a drop okay now this is what I use right before I brush it just like with the other brush I start at the bottom you can see actually let me cut this up because 155 definitely ain't gonna do nothing for my hair so we'll go to 385 so I'm gonna let that warm up a little bit and I'm gonna continue putting that polisher in my hair working in my hair i want to do a link check i'm not really here to do a link check but let's see my hair is about here so here see that gently take it through the hair I actually pressed the button and it went down, so. I don't know if y'all can see that. See that? Get the ends. Let's see, this is the best thing y'all can do. And the idea is not to get my hair bone straight. I don't want it bone straight. I just want it stretched out so that when I get the box braids, it's easier, it's stretched out. It doesn't hurt, you know, with the process. And then the person that, you know, does my hair, they don't have to worry about detangling my hair before they do it. So the process takes less time. So this is the day before. Let's see. Yeah. Get right up there close to the roots slowly take it down and I'm going lifting up with it so that it gets everything in the brush okay so this is about the look that I want I don't want bone straight but I do want it stretched out next I take a wide tooth comb and I just comb through it just comb through it this helps with the tangles that form while the brush was going through it. And then I'll run it through it once or twice more. Starting at the root and I slowly work my way down. Take this little piece out. Slowly. Hold this part tight. And I work my way down. Like that. Okay. And my hair is definitely stretched out. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay, so now I just put it in the braid. And no, I'm not the best braider at all. <laughs> but I can do this, so let's see. Once I get a good clip on it. Okay.
this condition it will be and I will let my hair breathe. So let's say today, let's see today is today, Friday. So I took my hair down on Monday. So my hair has been breathing for two, mm, two days, it's just been So about four days, my hair has been breathing, three or four days. And when I say breathing, that means after I wash it and I put it in the protective style, I just let it on. So when I say breathing, that's what I mean. Just nothing is natural state. That's it. I just had to leave it on. Okay. Can I just braid all the way down? I know this is a boring part. I'm going to speed this part up. I don't know how to do it. You know that it breaks it off when you're trying to take it down. So, yeah. I'm gonna turn this down. And I'm gonna let this cool off again. coconut oil on that twist it get my hair tied this is it stretched out but it's not going to stay like that unless i add some weight to it so i add this to it in order to keep it stretched and then I'm gonna come back. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one again. So I'm gonna show you the steps one more time. First step, finger to tangle, finger to tangle. First step, one. Finger to tangle. Okay. Get those ends. Okay. Second step. Add a little oil. Just a little bit. Coat the hair. Going down. Because you want to get those ends. Okay. Keep work that through. Next. Get your grease. That much. Yeah. Closer to the roots with the crease. Okay. Next, brush it through. So that's step three. Step one, finger detangle. Step two, add your oil. Step three, brush it through. Brush the product through. Brush those ends first. Work it all the way up. Brushing it through. Step four, add your polisher or heat protectant, whatever you want to call it, just to drop. Add that through. That's after you brush it. After you brush the other products through, you add your straightener. Fifth step. I don't know why I keep forgetting to turn that up, so we're going to keep working this straightener in. This is our heat protectant. This is how we keep our curls after our protective styling is out and we wash our hair. No to heat damage. Okay, so I think that's hot enough. passes or pulling up on it Try to curl y'all with some oil on it. <laughs> yeah. 
yes, with oil, it is still trying to curl. Okay, next. Wait a minute, I missed a step. Final step? No. Sixth step is to comb it through. Comb it. Make sure there ain't no tangles in it. Okay. Bring it back through one more time. From the roots, going down. Okay. Last step, braid it. Section it off. Once I get it started, then I'm good. Okay. And I like to smooth out my hair so that there's no tangles in it that will cause breakage you see how my hair is already trying to curl up with oil in it and it being straight and it's still trying to curl up I'm thinking it might be the way I ran the, br the um, brush the straightener through it as well that might be the case so tired lost those long hair problems medium to long hair problems baby okay. getting skinnier so I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna start twisting because like I said I don't want my ends to be so small that it's a hard time taking it down okay so we just gonna twist again keep twisting there to the end okay done and we add our band to keep it stretched out okay. and I'm not putting this on the end see that's my end I'm not putting it on the very end of my braid though if I put it on the end I mean it ain't gonna do nothing but slide off anyway so yeah add that weight okay so I'm done with this side of my head this is how we looking very sealyish from color purple but we're protecting our hair and our hair is long and that's the point because we don't care long hair don't what don't care you got me swinging. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Get into it. Okay, so 
I'm probably gonna fast forward through this last part. So I'm gonna do the back section next and we're gonna stop with the top. I just want y'all to see this side of my hair. This side of my hair is longer than the right side. Making sure there's no snags. Yeah. One more time, do it with it. One more time. How much hair came out? Well, this was in some of it was in a brush. Okay, and this is what we have. Like, comment, and subscribe for more natural hair videos, protective styles. Um, I can do a wash day routine, all of that. Thank y'all for watching. <laughs> yeah.